The world has always been troubled. But now new technology mixes with old magic to make a society run amok. The powerful use them to create empires of wealth and dominance, bleeding the rest of the world dry. Troubled has given way to afflicted. Though it may be difficult and dangerous, resistance is the only sensible response in such a world. Sander Greystar, Street Prophet. Well, today we're going to do something a little different. Normally on Fridays, for those of you who come to the channel on a regular basis, you guys know I do classic tabletop RPG Fridays, but not today. We've got something special for you. As a matter of fact, we're going to be focusing on a game that's brand new and technically not even out yet. We're going to be looking at the cyberpunk fantasy tabletop RPG subversion. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say welcome to those of you who might be new to the channel and welcome back my leets and everybody else. For those of you who are new, this is RPG Elite and this is the place where I focus on putting the RP back in RPG, giving you tools, tips and tutorials and real talk about the tabletop RPG space and culture and little special videos like this today. Now, this video is sponsored by the guys over there who created Subversion but it is not a review. It is just simply an overview. They just want you guys to know that they've got this game out and you can do your own due diligence in terms of whether or not you're going to go over there and support them on their Kickstarter. So let's do that, get straight into looking at Subversion. And then on the other side, I've got the question of the vid, and a couple other things. So, see you then, and let's roll them. The year 450 by Neo-Babylonian Reckoning. The city is Neo-Babylon. It's a city of dreams and darkness, hope and despair. A city of endless potential. A city where the newest breakthroughs of technology rest among the greatest wonders of magic. A city where everything is possible. Neo-Babylon stands alone as the largest, wealthiest, and most influential city there has ever been. For hundreds of years, an increasingly powerful arcane council has created a society stratified between those with wealth and power and those without. On the surface, people dream of changing the world. If you scratch the surface, however, it's far more often that an uncaring world changes you first. That all the glamour and wonder are in the grip of an ossified elite of mages and everyone else is left to play in their games or be ground into nothingness. Will you take up the call of your community to try and make things better? Will you sell out your principles if it means saving your friends? Or sell out your friends to change the world? This is Subversion. Subversion is a tabletop RPG where players create a story as a group of envoys, talented individuals promoting, protecting, and achieving the goals of their specific community while pursuing their own values, desires, and aspirations. However, you are not limited to being hemmed in within this framework alone. Instead of being envoys, you might create a group of wayward thieves who stumble upon a secret that has a potential to make them heroes, or a band of vigilantes who take matters completely into their own hands because the powers that be are too corrupt and too cowardly to do anything about it themselves, or explorers from a far off place who discover a history that changes everything and now are looking to restore things to a long forgotten past. The choice is yours. Subversion has heavy Shadowrun vibes to it, know what I mean? 
It mixes the high technology with arcane fantasy and supernatural stuff. And the character types called lineages are reminiscent of every fantasy game on the planet. So you got your dwarves, you have your elves, you have your goblins, humans, orcs, and a few others thrown in there for good measure. One is called a Yetin, which is related to, come on now, guess, that's right, the Yeti. You might not think it's a big deal, but this familiarity of different humanoid types may make player simulation to the game more comfortable for those who have limited themselves to playing just fantasy RPGs or that's the whole scope of their experience with tabletop RPGs. Communities are a key element in subversion. They act as the player character's home base, leading and being led by the PCs. The idea is that most of the PCs are probably from the same community and they should grow alongside the PCs as the individual characters grow themselves, becoming akin to something as a separate entity. Communities are a foundation for the PCs and may be the root to the overriding factor of why the PCs are doing what they are doing. One thing Subversion takes rather seriously is character creation. The list of things which you have to choose to make your character are reflective of a more thoughtful approach to character concepts. Things like ideologies, values, deep desire, and mission, along with many other aspects. Of course, that's something you can adjust if you're not into that kind of thing, but the fact that it is in the game signals a focus on strong, character-driven stories and motivations which leads to richer, more substantive role-playing sessions. Like most tabletop RPGs, Subversion is based around a major mechanic to resolve situations where the chance of failure would add something interesting to the direction of the story. It is based around a D6 system of gameplay. So, in a nutshell, when making an attempt of a significant action, you roll a certain number of D6 and keep the result of the highest three. This is then compared to a target number. If it is equal to or up to four higher than the target number, the action succeeds. However, there are some other core details to remember in reference to this main mechanic. If you roll five or more above the TN, it's a dynamic success you've solidly achieved your goal or made even more progress. If each kept dice is a six, the roll is a critical success. You've gained significant progress or have fantastically achieved your goal. Now for me, this is part of the system that is reminiscent of the One Ring, which you guys know that I run because it has within it successes, great successes and extraordinary successes. However, there is a flip side to the core mechanic. If you miss the TN by four or less, that's a failure. You don't accomplish your goal or make any progress and probably will suffer some minor consequence. If you roll five or more below the TN target number, that is a dynamic failure. Not only did you fail to accomplish your goal or make any progress, but you have botched it in such a way that you've brought a complication onto yourself. Now, the good thing about this is that you are normally rolling more than three dice. Therefore, your chances increase for you to roll something that is not extremely horrible. But never forget about old Murphy, who can pop up at any time. The number of dice you roll is determined by the rank of the skill you have and its linked attribute. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say you have a character. That character has a skill. That skill is called melee combat. All right. So as you can see here, melee combat is tied to agility. And let's just say for the sake of argument here that the character's melee combat was three and they also had an agility of three. 
which means they would roll six six-sided die. How that would look here in Foundry is we do this and we go, okay, we're going to roll six, D6, and then we're going to keep the highest three. All right, and then we will roll them. Is that a six right there? <laughs> on a, leaning on the everlasting right there. And it appears as if it is. That is a six. So we keep the highest three, which means we got a 14. Now, didn't have a target number or anything like that, but that's the basis of the core mechanic. There's the basics of it for subversion. Now, they're going to have their Kickstarter going on until March 23rd. So you still have plenty of time to go over to their Kickstarter and check it out. Now, if you are interested in subversion, I do have a link down in the description below. There, it'll take you straight to their Kickstarter page. You can look at some other things that maybe I didn't cover in this video, but pretty much you'll get the whole Monty on whether or not you wanna go over there and pledge for their Kickstarter. Well, if you liked this video today and you thought it was helpful at any kind of value, then go ahead and crush the like button for brother. Just give a little bit of YouTube algorithm love. And also, hey, if you wanna stick around, you like these kind of things, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Question of the vid is going to be one that's simple. What's your first impressions of Subversion, the cyber fantasy tabletop RPG. First impressions, let me know in the comments down below. All right, that does it for me, folks. Brother, he's got to do snaggle puss. Alexa, did you have? Hey, if you have a game this weekend, then happy gaming. I hope it is an RPG elite session. And until next time, God willing, Peace! 5,000 leaps a brother has got to be out.